I want to finish up this passage with a comment on something that's kind of been lurking beneath the surface of all the questions we've been doing, which is that sometimes you're going to get what we can call an old-fashioned passage. If you look at the opening blurb, the little mini paragraph before the start of the passage, you'll see that this was written in 1889. And when you get stuff that that's old, you get language used in ways that we're not used to because language constantly is changing. You know, what was the cool phrase even you know a year ago, especially with the internet now, is not cool, is out of fashion very quickly, right? So, and you can imagine over a hundred years, you get real magnified changes. So when you have these old fashioned passages and you can expect probably to see one with a little bit different style of language like this on your PSAT or your SAT, uh, you just gotta be very careful not to get sucked into literal or modern readings of a phrase or a word if another reading is warranted. It's kind of what's going on in this question. So we've got a vocab and context, except it's not even a vocab and context. It's like a translation almost. You're translating in its train what that might mean. And again, you got to be very careful not to get drawn into the train as in the choo-choo train, like the railroad, or a train as in like a bride, her dress has a train. You can't get drawn into those definitions because this is 1889 and also this is more metaphorical here if anything or it's just a different kind of different usage so let's see what we got here the price which society pays for the law of competition like the price it pays for cheap comforts and luxuries is also great but the advantages of this law are also greater still than its cost for it is to this law that we owe our wonderful material development which brings improved conditions in its train so what is going on here I would recommend let's go to the choices and evaluate them. So, which brings improved conditions before it? I mean, no, it's the new development is bringing conditions, if anything, with it, not before it, or not anticipating with it. It's, it's coming with it, right? So these developments bring with them these improved conditions. Now, advancing it, are these which brings improved conditions advancing it? That's, number one, a weird phrasing we actually plug that in as we talked about before if it doesn't make sense in terms of usage it probably doesn't work but these conditions are not in advance of the development they come with it they go hand in hand right don't get so we can get rid of d answer here is going to be and again don't get sucked into the train thing like oh it's a train so like the train is like so it's a train with all these box cars and then like here's like a car with the conditions so it's before the train don't get sucked into any of that yeah again these are a little bit tough especially if english isn't your first language i mean even if english is your first language is a tough question because no one speaks this way anymore but nonetheless just do your best to eliminate what you can use all the tools at your disposal on a vocab and context question like this to eliminate and at the very worst make a good guess in this case we get b to learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com slash enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.